Hey guys, a uh, bit of a old school video from what I used to do. So today we're going to be looking at a uh, lawnmower that I've just picked up. So it's a Scott Bonner 45, I think, lawnmower. As you can see, it's in pieces. Very uh, Brennan V101 of me pulling apart everything. So I picked this up for free off a mate. Um, he said it needed a little bit of work. Uh, the clutch would kick in so um, I adjusted the clutch up and sort of stopped it kicking in so much and um, started mowing the lawn with it and then the key or the little retaining bolt that's on these things flew out and uh, so I pulled it all apart and realized the clutch is pretty damn rooted so the rest of the mower is in pretty good shape um, I will need to adjust all the chain up and stuff and I'll get the blade all um, resharpened but for now it's not too bad I'll give the mower a full degrease and clean and uh, just make sure there's no cracking and stuff on the chassis but it all looks pretty good um, it's all in pretty good nick other than the clutch So if we go over to the engine now, the uh, key on the engine is not looking too happy. As you can see, it's a bit, a bit worn. The very start of the keyway is not too bad. The very end is not too bad. The middle section is quite worn. Um, now, obviously, without pulling the entire engine apart and changing the crank, this is kind of not quite repairable so what I'm going to do is uh, clean this up really well might even just file it very very slightly to bring it back to raw metal uh, brake clean it and then I'm going to use Loctite uh, liquid metal not the quick metal the liquid metal if you watch it on YouTube it's actually like super strong uh, they say you can repair shafts with it and stuff so what I'll do is I'll just put a big nice blob of that in there stick a brand new key in there and sort of weld the key to the shaft and then the new style Scott Bonner clutch housings have two grub screws one are above the keyway or above the key and one into the side so the one above the key will hold it pretty good and then the one that goes into the side I'll drill a tiny little pilot hole into the crank so the key the grub screw actually goes into the crank somewhat and that'll hold it there pretty well I just remember this is a lawnmower it's not a race car so it should be pretty good other than that, I'll give the motor a bit of a clean as well, and I'll get a new air filter for it. Because uh, this one's a bit, a bit manky. So if we now look at all the parts, we can see the cone. Now on first value, the, the cone looks not too bad, but if you put it on the shaft, it's got a little bit of play, which the guy at the lawnmower shop says uh, will result in, result in it jumping in, which is what it was doing. Uh, that's probably a combination of things, but... Uh, nevertheless, I'll uh, get a new cone. This little reaction thrust plastic piece is also pretty rooted, so I'll get a new one of those. The bearing housing itself is fine. Just give that a bit of a clean up, and that'll be all good. This is the old retaining bolt. As you can see, it's snapped and it's seen better days. It's a pretty, pretty crude method, to be honest. Um, I think this is kind of the reason why it's screwed up in the first place is this gets loose and then the clutch gets loose in the shaft and just jiggles about and just throws everything off balance and just ruins everything so um, probably the invention before the days of the allen key grub screw this is the shaft uh, it's got a bit mangled trying to remove it I'll get a new bearing, new shaft as the key in there is pretty stuffed it actually doesn't look too bad but it's actually um, worn quite heavily the backing plate is fine I'm just going to get a new piece of clutch material it doesn't really need it but I'm I'm already you know this far so I might as well just get it it's not very expensive the spring itself is okay so I won't replace that and then the rear clutch housing which is the one that's totally stuffed is um, obviously going to get replaced along with the new thrust washer because it's kind of non-existent so this is where majority of the damage has started I'll get it into the uh, sunlight here.
Hopefully you guys can see that. Pretty much the entire keyway in there is gone. Non-existent. So this is obviously just jiggling back and forth on the shaft for a very long time and just ruined everything. I'm pretty surprised that I'm um, surprised that the the crank of the engine isn't uh, worse than what it is. Um, it is pretty bad, but I think it can be repaired and uh, should be alright. So that's about it for now, guys. Now, if you're wondering that the quality is surprisingly a lot better, no I mean quality of video. I just I mean the quality of the video itself, not the content. Um, that is because it is. I'm no longer filming with my phone. I'm filming with a uh, Canon 80D DSLR camera. So things I do for you guys. So hopefully this will boost the quality. Um, and now I will be able to put on a tripod and actually film some stuff that I do rather than sort of doing little vloggy type videos. So once I become a bit of a better video maker, I'll be making some better content soon, hopefully. So stay tuned, guys and more of this to come.